Hello viewers, this is IT System Admin, a complete troubleshooting solution for you. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to fix error code 0x800F081F in Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Sometimes it becomes very important for you, so don't forget to watch full video. In most cases, the error code 0x800F081F appears because of Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 incompatibilities. Users reported that the issue had occurred after they had enabled the .NET Framework through the Deployment Image Servicing and Management DISM tool, Installation Wizard, or Microsoft PowerPoint commands or Windows update. The error code 0x800F081F usually appears on Windows 10, Windows 8.18, Windows Server 2016, 2012, R2 2012 also. It's worth nothing that Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 is a feature on demand on the operating system we mentioned. That's why the feature is not enabled by default. Aside from the error code 0x800F081F, there are four other codes that show up due to the same underlying problem. These codes are 0x800F0906, 0x800F0907, and 0x800F0922. Now I am going to show you how to fix these issues it is very easy to fix okay now click on search type turn look this is turn window switcher on or off click to open it first of all you need to turn off dotnet framework 3.5 and dotnet framework 4.8 also just click here and click here and click on ok ok now click on close and then you need to restart your computer, click on start menu, click on power, then click on restart. After restarting your computer, again click on search, type turn, this is turn windows feature on or off, open it. Now again install .NET Framework 3.5 and also .NET Framework 4.8 also. Click on OK. Windows need files from Windows Update to finish installing some features. Let Windows Update download the file for you. Click on here and files are downloading right now. Windows completed required changes. Click on close. Now you need to restart your computer. So click on start menu. Click on power button. And now click on update and restart. This is all for today. Hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Keep watching for next tutorial. Thank you very much.